again, friends. Welcome, new subscribers. I'm Brian from Apex Detail. You know, if you guys took a little time to think about everything that could get flung up on your car or even fall onto it from the air, it's amazing what a beating the clear coat takes. Take into consideration, for example, everything that falls onto the roadway, motor oil, transmission fluid, gear oil, diesel fuel, antifreeze, tar, stuff that falls from the air, bird poop, bugs, pine sap. It's amazing. And there's much, much more. So when I have something, a vehicle, that I want to remove all of that from, yet um, preserve the foundation of a coating, a freshly applied coating, or an existing coating. And let's go a step further. How about a wax or a sealant? I want to remove all that stuff and not degradate the, the sealant or the wax or the coating. What do I use? Well, let's head out into the shop and I'll show you. This AMG has been coated Kamikaze ISM Myabi Overcoat. It's in for its first maintenance wash and to remove all of that um, traffic film, everything I just mentioned in the opening. So the characteristics of the coating itself are revealed once again. Let's go ahead and throw wheels of any type into the equation because if the brake dust hasn't been baked on, and you don't have years of neglect, this shampoo and pre-wash will take care of it as well. Angel Wax Cleanliness 1000 milliliters for $26.99 is a powerful pre-wash or shampoo formulated to remove bugs, road film, bird lime, road grime, and other contaminants from your body work. It is to be used either from a foam lance, a power washer, pump sprayer, or in your contact wash bucket. Let me give you a short demonstration. I'm going to do a pre-wash on the Mercedes, so we're going to add two ounces of the cleanliness into our foam lance container. First, before I add any of the product and introduce it to the car, I want to go around and see if I can rinse any of that loose dirt or grit away from the bodywork before we even lay down a pre-wash. We're going to especially hit hard some of the areas down below on the bottom of the car like the rockers, wheels, wheel wells. Let's get the front of the car where the bugs hit it and the back of the car where a lot of that uh, road film and uh, rainwater splashes up onto the rear bumper and back lid deck. It's time to do the pre-wash now. So we have two ounces of the cleanliness in our foam lance. Let's apply it. We're going to let it sit there for 10 minutes. If indoors, if you're outdoors in the sun, you may get three to five minutes out of it before you're going to have to grab uh, your hose and rinse it. Even if it does start to dry on the panel, it's pH neutral, guys. It'll activate again, and you can then rinse it completely. Now, this pre-wash is to lift, start to break down some of the dirt, encapsulate it, and definitely break down that road film or road grime. After 10 minutes of dwelling indoors, it's time to disconnect the lance, attach the, the rinse nozzle, always attach it, point it down towards the ground and test it so it's connected properly so it doesn't fly out onto your car and nick it or crack a window or glass. And now give it a thorough rinse from top to bottom. Take your time, get as much of that grit and whatever the cleanliness has broken down off of the car before we start a contact wash. This whole wash process, guys, we're only touching the car twice. During the wash process, where you're gonna see, I'm gonna have a ton of lubrication on there. And then after we dry, whatever water droplets are left over after the leaf blower or your Metro blower or whatever you have to aid with the drying of the car. Guys, some news for you. I don't care what miraculous products are introduced to the market. There's only one sure way to cut down on the marring swirls and love marks and that's to keep the touching of the car to a minimum and that's why I do this process. So before we get started with anything else we're going to go ahead and clean those wheels. Uh, I've often been asked the method and what I use for that so I'll quick show you while we're doing a wash video. I use the NanoSkin non-acid wheel cleaner, pH neutral, 
does a great job cleaning coated, waxed, or sealed wheels, such as this one right here. These wheels have been done with Gion rim. I also use the Kamikaze stance rim coat and many others. I've also used the Bilberry wheel wax from Angel Wax, Enigma, and this wheel cleaner here is excellent. You team it up with the Speedy wheel brush here that has protective rubber tips and guards to protect your wheel from scraping up against it and scuffing it. And then a soft detail brush for the face of the wheel and you're in good shape. Now, if you prefer not to get splashed and spritzed with dirty water and break dust from the fingers on this detailing brush, you can go ahead and order a set of wheel woolies. They do a good job as well. They may break down a little bit quicker and lose the wool when it uh, reaches the end of its life cycle. So there's two options for you to clean the barrel of the wheel. I go ahead and get the face of the wheel with a soft detailing brush. And it's time for a thorough rinse. Squeaky clean as it is, I'm going to go ahead and finish them off. When I'm doing the contact wash, I have another bucket with an old mitt in it that I can get the back of the spokes and softly go over the wheel for anything I missed. Speaking of the contact wash, I have a bucket with three mitts ready to go. I'm going to add another two ounces into that bucket. We're going to foam it up a little bit and we're going to begin the contact wash process. The respect I have for those of you who use rinseless or waterless washes is immense. I cannot bring myself to clean a car with a waterless or a rinseless wash after I've spent hours and hours and hours correcting it. No way in H will I use a rinseless wash after um, a long correction and some protection laid down. If I can't pre-wash it and do a contact wash exactly like I'm doing it here, um, I'm going to be out of my element. It happens to rain every other day here, so I won't have to worry about water restrictions. So let's continue on. I'm going to lay down another layer of the pre-wash foam. This is for extra lubrication. Uh, it may seem like overkill with a lot of suds, a lot of soap. I'm not worried about that. What I'm worried about is lubrication and not marring this um, clear coat I spent a lot of time protecting and correcting and we're going to preserve the look of this clear coat with the wash process that I chose. This here happens to be the Cyclone 10x10 wash mitt microfiber and it's working the angel wax cleanliness into the panel removing all that dirt. If you fall short on lubrication just give that thing a squeeze. It holds just under a gallon of product and water. All right, the top of the vehicle is complete. So I'm going to put the 10 by 10 Cyclone to the side. That's going to be cleaned, washed, dried on low heat a little bit later. I'm going to grab another wash mitt dedicated to the side of the car. So we're going to take care of the driver's side with this one. I'll take care of the top half of the car, flip it over, go for the bottom half of the car. That's usually a little bit more soiled. Driver's side's done. That wash mitt gets put to the side to be cleaned later. And I grab the final wash mitt and take care of the passenger side. And it's time for a thorough rinse. My friends, I respect all the other wash methods out there and anybody who uses them. And I will always listen to new wash methods. But after doing tons of washing since the late 80s, I can tell you, hands down, this method here will leave you with the least amount of love marks, scratches, and swirls. Okay, it's time for a thorough rinse now. Wash the suds and the dirt off of there. And again, we're going to do that from the top to the bottom.
A dirty wash mitt will never go back in the shampoo bucket into the solution. And unless the solution is, has dye in it or is a different color, the, the water is going to stay crystal clear. There's going to be no grit, no dirt whatsoever. I'm going to cap it. I'll agitate it later. I'm going to use it again. So we're going to move on to the drying part. And a, a Metro Vac, maybe a leaf blower, a PT shop blower, anything that's going to blow the water droplets off there without you touching it is going to be the best drying aid to start with. Again, least amount of time you touch your car, the least amount of swirl and love marks you're going to put on it. Period. I don't care what kind of a drying aid you have or a detailer to spray on there while it's wet. There's dust particles in the air. They're going to land on your car as soon as you're done rinsing. They're going to get in between your rag or your drying towel and the clear coat. Doesn't matter what you have there, guys. If you press hard enough, it's going to scratch the car. Use something like this to help dry it as much as you can. If there's some water droplets, small ones left over, maybe in the, the door jams or coming out of the mirror when you're done, then grab your soft microfiber drying towel. So here, here we go. We're all done. We have all that muck and crap off of the coating or the wax of the sealant. Squeaky clean, has beautiful gloss and shine, and the characteristics of that coating, the wax or the sealant, on the clear coat and the wheels it's back so here's what angel wax cleanliness can do for you guys powerful yet not destructive Okay guys, again, Angel Wax Cleanliness. I'll put a link down below if you want to look into it a little bit further. Now this is a shampoo. It can also be used as a pre-wash. So when we include this into our shampoo series or shampoo showdown, does it change anything on the podium or down in the honorable mention section? Well, actually it does. It does very well and it will slide into second place, pushing down Chemical Guys Gloss Works. And we have Car Pro reset in the top spot. It's going to be hard to um, going to be hard to beat that and knock that off the top spot. Honorable mention: Nano Skin, Poor Boys, Mastersons, and Dodo Juice. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate. Brian from Apex Detail. Catch you in the next video.